Welcome back to Humankind with the Harappans in the early modern era. Uh, we have just finished Machu Picchu and we are just kind of building out. We are on our dream island, which belongs entirely to us. Everything is claimed. We have even taken this forward position here, which we will call our personal Venice because it's going to be uh, geared towards earning us money, mostly once we have gotten the base requirements down. We have research gunpowder warfare, that means we need more, we can start building on gunpowder. I wish to research this now, so we can get Kadax. I already researched the one where we can have caravels, but I don't seem to be able to build them. They also don't show up here. Usually a unit you can't build yet shows up, but with a, you're missing this thing. And I'm really confused by that. We could build us some settlers uh, to go find somewhere to settle, like this tiny little island. You know what? Uh, we might actually do that. They cost four. Four turns. Is it worth it? Can they go far enough? Nah. Nah, not worth it. We wish to first upgrade our stuff here a little bit more. We're not... Will we build this? Do we have anywhere to build it? I mean, yeah, okay, why not? We'll build a little monument to the gods down here. Build our garrison. All is fine over here. Uh, let's have our primary city help out a little bit. This goes quicker for everyone. Okay, Mocha is done with building things. So... What do we got for you? What do we got? Hamlet was built. This was built. You guys don't have this yet. Build you just here. Do we do we have already built one wait we can have more i thought we can only have one we need more food not really not right now garrisons and everything don't need that either yeah let's build some infrastructure my god they have nothing let's build all the infrastructure for them they are really lacking. Good lord, I've done nothing here. Yeah, you get everything in terms of infrastructure. Okay. Can I exploit something? Where? Ah, yes, Saltpeter is now available, of course. So maybe... Where was the other Saltpeter? On here. So you guys gonna build the exploitation for the Saltpeter as well. So we got it. Wait, I can have more than one arbor? Didn't it say I can have only one? And be built once per territory! Oh no, I'm a fool! Per territory. I can have more harbors than I want. Ay, yay, ay. I need to build a whole lot more harbors. Per territory. I am the most foolish fool. Watch me explode into the face of the world by building all the harbors. 
All of them. Where's the next best one? Right next to this one. Perfect. <laughs> yes. More harbors. More hamlets. More everything. <laughs> Good God. We're gonna destroy the stability of the world by building all these. Just going completely balls to the walls insane. And I think I want the production more than the food here. Come the heck on. Yes. We'll just go completely nuts now. We'll build all of them. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. All the hamlets. Right, our very closely cultivated city. Build some food. Because it's already dropping suspiciously low. Per territory! Not per city, I am a fool of epic proportions. Absolutely crazy. Fields of plenty. Hark! Your empire is a land of plenty. Your cities a quill work of farms and small holdings that feed your hungry and ambitious people. While new methods of the age bring huge grain silos into your employ, transforming the farming landscape. As the sector scales up, you must now ask yourself, it is time to state-ran the farm's empire. Let's see. So these guys are nationalized industries, so we would be closer, more closely aligned to them. Plus one farmer slot on city outpost per farmer's quarter. Yeah, I think, I think we go this way. National control of vital products and resources, paradoxically, could provide more freedom and autonomy. Go for communism. <laughs> I don't think this is claimed. I really don't think this is claimed. But it's also not great. Like, that's just not great. Alright, let's see. This city needs more direction and care. Where would a hamlet go? There? No, that's where I want to build all the money stuff. I don't think we get a hamlet with this one. I don't think we do. So let's start going toward the money. Why can't I build any infrastructure here? Weird. Okay, so last food production goes here, and that opens us up to build these things to be money. This is all food. Another era star unlocked for the aesthetic. There we go. Influencing world. What do we do need here? People have changed their attitude about us. Oh, oh my. Infrastructure projects. All of them. I don't even have everything for these, so some of these don't make sense whatsoever. But it's fine. We want some infrastructure projects. We're gonna invest. What do you want? Trade luxuries? Sure, we can trade luxuries with you. Good sense. I say yes. So they are very interested in our die. Yeah, okay. I see why you would be. Right, the city without infrastructure. Now we start making some money. Weasel sold, sure. It's good because even if we sell them, we retain them. So we don't actually lose out on a resource if we sell it. We just get the bonus. 
of both selling it and having it lovely let's get us some people in here with influence pop here it makes sense and we need to wait for this to be done Hey, where did you come from? All the way down here? You want to know what's there? We'll figure it out. We would like to build more money districts, thank you. Trade everything? Sure. That's fine by me. Okay, naval artillery researched so now we should be able to build this thing or rather to upgrade our things you go there you guys all of you that's costly okay you have no special rules can you just sail anywhere we'll figure it out with this boy I swear, we lost the type of ship, it's just gone. Ah, let's go with heavy infantry. Need to stick with the times here. Okay. Can you go anywhere? Let's see. I'll put you to auto explore and it seems like he does not give a hoot anymore. So we can finally go anywhere. Meaning our fleet up here will be split again. So we can go now. Darn it. Probably sensible that it sticks with your primary thing that you first had selected. What a well. Good, this is growing. Uh, this just lowers stability at this point. Doesn't help us one bit. Yes, what to do with you? Have we done all the infrastructure here? No, we have done none. So let's go with the production infrastructure first to help with all the subsequent infrastructures. Especially food and monetary. All the infrastructure. What do you want from me? Nothing? They're afraid of us. Well, we are much more powerful than them. They depend on access to our resources. Sounds great to me anyway. Let's go ahead and talk some more with them. To what do I owe the pleasure? Come on, let's share maps. Ah, the should be in all our best Leave them to their farms and everything should be fine. And uh, maybe get rid of the yew tree. Your proposition is advantageous. I can only say that this is excellent. Let's have an alliance with them, eh? This proposition should oh. be in now we see a whole lot here. Cultural wonder. In my considered opinion, one of your competitors garnered a lot of fame building that monstrosity. And we might build a settler still. Oh yeah, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do that, and we're gonna settle that little island there. Oh, wait. Go we'll join this on exploration. I want to see if there's lands to be settled here. That we have only ever thought about, ever dared to see them for true. 
I mean, it's better than nothing, right? We have around 200 turns left, more or less. Less than more. Hard tack and weevils. The Empire's naval strength grows greater every year, with our ships exploring the most distant seas and making famous discoveries when a merchant vessel arrived back in the sea trade of Lothal. However, a horrifying spectacle came to light. Long months at sea led to the majority of the crew being afflicted with scurvy. Its cause is unknown, but its effects are devastating. Loose gums are followed by blotchy skin, then lethargy and death. Now the reality of life at sea is in danger of spreading and needs to be addressed. What is your response? We will overhaul. All ships will be overhauled to make them faster and shorten the length. Uh, yeah. We'll overhaul our ships. So they go fast. Heavy infantry has been researched. Very good. Let's see what options are open to us. Ah, let's go with alchemy, why not? Still have this one civic from f millions of years ago. Let's go with the conscripts. Efficiency and camaraderie. But it will probably cause a lot of complaining. There we have a social structure that is not purely ours. Actually, we have that in quite a bit of places. There are some influences from the outside, but we are open to it. We are open to it. Food is fine. All right, you're done again. Could we buy some copper from our friends? Well met. Well met indeed. Do you have copper for me to buy? And selecting from where you buy it, if you have a choice, can lower the price as well. You have created your first trade link. Commerce is how empires have always shared goods, resources, and tall tales. Can upgrade our production here a little bit. Which we shall do. Upgrade our food as well. New Civic, the wisdom of others. Your merchants track the world, reaching great markets and far climbs and selling your highly priced natural riches for much coin conversely empire sees many trades from distant lands visit our plazas with their goods their wit and their provocative ideas when their knowledge contradicts the wisdom of your elders it raises the question of who you should trust knowledge authorities let's say elders wisdoms we must not forget the lessons of our own history um be not too proud Plus one science per number of trade or outposts. This would probably be better for us, but I feel like there must be an awful lot we'll be open. World that the elders never even thought of. Right? The elders are probably quite good at what they elderly did. But let us not discount future. Oh. Yes, more upgrades, better troops, better everything. Let's see, what troops do we still have that need upgrading? Lots. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Let's do some of that. Bring ourselves up to speed. Also, you guys can just join up. Let's see, you guys are desperately waiting for an upgrade. Wait, so, okay. Eight is the maximum I can carry on one army. So we could supplement that here, but it's fine. We don't need to. 
Everyone gets upgrades. You guys get upgrades too. Well, you guy gets get an upgrade. Okay, can you can you travel outside just you? Can you travel outside of this without dying? Let's see. We'll try this next turn. Please go auto explore. Thank you. Finding all these ships across the world. Will you be fine? It seems you will be fine indeed. So we can go settle this little island here. Very good. These guys can immediately found a city. Just quite amazing. The world is hustling and bustling along. We get stars for building districts anyway, so this one is going to be done soon. People are going to be upset about us settling there. That's a certainty. But they will just have to deal with it. It's also a certainty. Do we have any armies that are still in need of upgrading? I think we have it under control. Where is this? Oh, that's him. <laughs> Can I give them names? Ah, yes. These are Lothalian Guard. There we go. That's the Lothalian Guard. Very good. Because that's what they do. They guard Lothal. That's who they are. That's their entire identity. Let's go with centralized power. Hey, maybe you pick this up first, huh? We'll see what it is. Unlocked another era star. Then make landfall here and form a city. Is that not amazing? Another faraway city. Let's see. Where would be a good spot? Oh wow, all of these are really, really, really really good I like a little bit more food all right our city so how do we do this we build this over here and we build this, and then we build a harbor over here. The hamlet doesn't really make a lot of sense here. Oh, I don't think so. But production will make some sense. So you will be economic exports. Now, we want you to go for production, for food, money, and science, in that order. For both of our aspirations. Sure. Cultural agreement. Plus 5% for the influence on the empire. Um, have a non-aggression pack, boys? Ah, you can have some money for it. It's fine. With the English, I don't even know where they are, over here, Babylon. Whether or not the world goes hungry, with 30 farmers quarters, this city certainly won't. 
Who has 30 farmers quarters? I think that's uh, overall on the on the empire that we got. It's not like one city where we have it. I have something here that you Show sure, we can trade luxury goods. It's okay. Another free ship. It's crazy stuff. There's a little territory that we could get. I want to explore this here. I need a ship back there. You guys, build me a ship. Once you have done the library. You're fine on food. Everything is good here. What is Harappa doing anyway? They're still building all the hamlets and all the ports and everything. That I never got around to building before. Let's build a good amount of stuff. Another ship. That's just like there's all these ships there. Getting a, a whole new fleet out of it existing back there. So food wise, you guys are good. Money is also coming in slightly. This seems like a not place for anything, so that's the perfect place for our garrison. Everyone should have a garrison. I believe strongly in that. And you guys should get some city guard as well. We'll build you this, this, uh, this and that. These two. This is what you get in terms of city guard. I also want to pick this up. <laughs> These guys are landlocked. They can't get out of the area there. I so hope there's something here. Some land, some more islands. That would be so good. I would greatly enjoy that. Ah, uh, right, I need to select a... What is this? Luxury Manufactory. Yes. All of the yes. Thank you. I want that. City cap. Her affairs automatically creates roads between the outposts of your empire, the roads. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have much, but let's do that. Sounds good to me. Era star unlocked. And we are done with the early modern era. And we will be again at the head of the curve. So what can we be? Persians, Austro-Hungarians, the British, the French, the Germans, the Italians, the Mexican. I take offense to this. You boats, are why not pretzels and beer? The French get the world fair. Why do we get... I, I am offended. <laughs> Italians. I mean, they might be offended too. Why do they get singing? I mean, it's better than pizza or wine or something. The Mexicans, oh, that's cool. That's great art. I love that. So colorful. The Russian cell, look at that. Now that's noble. Tsar and Katerina standing there. The Siamese, that's cool. Zulu, yes. Or... We transcend, and we will transcend once more. Whoa, wow, wow. Let's do this. Wait, I can upgrade you? What do you become? Oh. Wait, that means I can upgrade a whole bunch more. Yeah. Guys. Bonk. And you guy. Bonk. If you skip upgrading them, it, it, it's fine. You don't need to necessarily. Um, but it doesn't get cheaper. Like if you if you skip several generations of not upgrading, it doesn't help you. 
you still pay for the cost from before. Yeah, it was a good idea to start with our money island over here. Good idea to start doing that. Okay, let's end the turn, transition into the modern era, and yeah, there we go. And yet, the world gets smaller as bridges unite land. Towns congest, and railroads bring distant goods to the doorstep. Anything seems possible in this wondrous future. Though as humankind grows, the planet itself appears to shrink. All right. While the Harapans certainly <laughs> had markets, they left few remains. Please show us what they might have done. We're just getting some coal stacks between our basically Neolithic uh, buildings. That's weird. Well, we have reached the industrial era. And with that, I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and comment and stuff. But I don't think anyone ever makes it to this bit of a video anyway, so... See you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.